everybody. Danny Bader here. So a few weeks ago, I was out at Penn National Racetrack in Harrisburg. Uh, some friends of mine have recently bought a racehorse, and I went out to watch her run, and it was an interesting experience. A week later, I talked to my buddy, and I said, you know, how's the horse doing? How, how's she doing? Uh, and he said, good. He said, I went over this morning, and all, and, and all they did, they, they let her run a little bit, but then all they did was just walk her through the starting gate. And I'm like, all right. I got it. Why? And he said, well, they just, and I, th I thought I knew why. And he said, they just wanted her to become comfortable and familiar with it. And he said, she did real good. He said, they didn't stop. They didn't close the gate or whatever. Just kind of started walking her through a couple times. And I thought to myself, hmm, how does that apply to us as human beings? Well, here's how it landed for me is many times with change for all of us, and we're continuing to go through change, right? To evolve is to undergo continuous and gradual change. But there's a part of our brain the emotional brain, executive function, all kinds of studies out there on the brain. I love to read about it. But it likes easy and familiar, right? It likes easy and familiar. And most of that runs in our unconscious mind. So what happens is as we start to change, it's not easy and familiar. So that's why change fails for so many people. And they run back to it, even when they know this is not what they want. So just like my friend's horse going through there, think to yourself, how can you start to just experience a little bit of change in smaller doses. You know, I read once, it was great, somebody said, what would you do with an hour a day extra? And people go, oh, I'm, I'm gonna do, you know, 365 hours a year, or just do weekdays, you know, 250 hours, that'd be great. I'm gonna get up an hour earlier tomorrow. We know what happens when that alarm goes off, you hit snooze, because your brain's going, wait a minute, this ain't familiar, we're not gonna do this. So start to think, what would happen if you got up five or 10 minutes earlier every day for a week? And then the following week, you got up 20 minutes earlier, another five or 10. You see where we're going? Five or six weeks now, you're getting up an hour earlier without that shock to your system. So sometimes in change, the shock to your system is good. Most times, you want to get into those small increments. So think about what's the change that you're working on right now? You know, it might be some attitudes that you're starting to shift. Just start small with that. Maybe it's that you're, uh, you know, you're looking to get healthier, maybe lose some weight, eat healthier. Don't go drastically the next day and just eat a salad and drink a shake because your body's going to go, wait a minute. Right? Just start to scale back on what your normal food intake is. You'll likely have more success with that, all right? So just take your time. Take a few little walks through the starting gate and see how that serves you. Be well, thanks.